The virus that causes rabies is believed to have arrived in Bali in 2008 from the nearby island of Sulawesi, where the disease is widespread. Locals say the virus came first to a village in Nusa Dua Peninsula with an infected dog that was traveling with fishermen. One day in November 2008, two officials visited Ungasan village upon hearing that a man there had died with rabies-like symptoms after being bitten by a dog. One was Dr. Gede Asrama, the district animal health officer of Badung. With him was his colleague and friend, Dr. Suwi Adnanya, Badung district public health officer. They suspected an epidemic was starting and knew instinctively that unless human health and animal health officials worked hand in hand, rabies control would be impossible. The rabies virus threatened not only the people of Bali, but also their beloved dogs. This is the story of how Bali is controlling rabies on this peaceful island paradise. Rabies is a lethal viral disease transmitted by bites from infected animals, most commonly dogs. Clinical signs can appear rapidly if the bite is near the head or neck, though in other cases it may take several months. Once rabies symptoms appear, death is unavoidable and victims generally die within 10 days. Rabies spread rapidly among Bali's 350,000 or so dogs, reaching all nine districts by mid-2010 and taking a growing toll in human deaths from rabies. At the peak of the epidemic, up to 11 humans were dying each month of rabies. Yet, by December 2011, the government of Bali had somehow turned the tide on the spread of dog cases and brought monthly human deaths from rabies down to one or none. How did they do it? Yang sangat diperlukan di dalam rangka pengendalian rabies itu ada pertama adalah komitmen. Yang kedua adalah keseriusan melaksanakan upaya-upaya pengendalian. Yang ketiga adalah kewaspadaan terhadap penyakit ini jangan sampai dia berkembang menyebar dan ke, bisa menyebabkan hal yang tidak diinginkan. Nah, komitmen yang diperlukan adalah komitmen dari pemerintah daerah setempat uh, supaya benar-benar melakukan langkah-langkah pengendalian rabies seperti misalnya pendanaan dan sebagainya. Dan kemudian komitmen juga dari masyarakatnya sehingga masyarakat betul-betul ingin membebaskan wilayahnya dari rabies sehingga ingin akan berpartisipasi terhadap program-program pemerintah dalam pengendalian rabies. Yang kedua serius. Nah, karena rabies ini tidak bisa disembunyikan, maka upaya pengendalian harus dilakukan secara serius. Apabila melakukan vaksinasi massal. At the core of Bali's success in controlling rabies is its campaign to vaccinate the dogs on the island. When no dogs are vaccinated, the rabies virus can spread unchecked very quickly. Culling dogs is not only socially unacceptable in Bali, but field research has also shown that it has little effect on the spread of rabies, since the virus spreads easily even when the dog population is small. But when a significant majority of the dogs are vaccinated, evidence shows that they become protectors, stopping the spread of rabies and shielding humans from the virus. This simple strategy became the cornerstone of Bali's campaign against rabies. The first uh, vaccination campaign was uh, supported through a combination of uh, funding from the government of Indonesia, uh, particularly the provincial government of Bali, the World Society for the Protection of Animals, WISPA, and Aussie, the Australian uh, Agency for International Development. And we've also been extremely fortunate to have additional support provided through the United States Agency for International Development. Vaccination focused on roaming dogs, both owned and unowned, since they have the greatest chance of encountering rabid dogs. The first step in mass vaccination is communication. 
mobile vans, public meetings and door-to-door -door visits are used to raise the community's awareness of the threat of rabies and the need to vaccinate dogs. Anjing ditangkap oleh tim penangkap anjing dengan menggunakan jaring. Dengan empat orang penangkap anjing, mereka membuat strategi bagaimana dia merencanakan untuk menangkap anjing ketika menemui anjing di luar rumah. Ini tidak dilakukan pada anjing-anjing yang mudah dihandle. Begitu anjing sudah ditangkap oleh penangkap anjing, maka petugas vaksinasi harus segera melakukan vaksinasi pada anjing tersebut. Berikutnya, penangkap anjing harus segera memberikan penandaan pada anjing-anjing tersebut dengan memberikan kalung. Once vaccination is completed, a survey team goes in to count vaccinated and unvaccinated dogs. The assessment results are sent by SMS to the data center in the district and the provincial coordination units, where they are analyzed to determine vaccination coverage. If coverage is below 70%, revaccination is ordered. Such ongoing analysis helps track Bali's progress towards its goal of eradicating rabies and indicates areas requiring further vaccination. A green smiley face indicates where vaccination coverage has met its target. Nearly 240,000 dogs had been successfully vaccinated by the time the second round ended in September 2011, covering all 4,373 sub-villages on the island. Canine rabies came down by 77% and human cases fell to just one case per month, or even none, compared to 2010. With continuing mass dog vaccination in 2012, human cases of rabies had fallen by 90% by the end of 2012. In the early days of rabies here, many people did not survive because they did not seek medical care after being bitten. With the Integrated Bite Case Management Protocol, or IBCM, Bali's rapid response system for handling bite cases, human health doctors began working hand in hand with veterinarians, playing a key role in Bali's success against rabies. Rabies can be prevented even after a bite from an infected animal if post-exposure treatment with a course of vaccine against rabies is started immediately. Dalam IBCM ini, kita coba buatkan sebuah standar di mana ketika ada kasus gigitan pada manusia, tentu saja nanti manusianya atau masyarakat yang digigit anjing diduga rabies tersebut akan dibawa kepada uh, pihak uh, kesehatan di mana mereka sudah punya standar sendiri bagaimana uh, melakukan tindakan terhadap uh, korban kasus uh, gigitan tersebut mulai dari dicuci lukanya uh, dengan air yang mengalir dengan sabun petugas kesehatan kemudian akan mengontak petugas kesehatan hewan di lapangan di wilayah yang sama untuk kemelakan untuk kemudian melakukan tindakan nothing illustrates the one health approach as well as the cooperation between human health and animal health officials in a bite case. Two-year-old Komang Sentana in Bangli village was playing with his sister in his yard. Unknown to him, a dog infected with the rabies virus had entered the compound. Little Komang was bitten above his right eye. Komang's aunt washed his wound with running water and soap at once. Kamang was checked at the hospital and received an immediate injection of vaccine against rabies. Following the IBCM protocol, the nurse on duty, Putu Asila, called Bangli's rapid response officer, Dr. Dewa Ayu Nyoman. By the time Dr. Nyoman and the sub-district surveillance officer reached Bangli the next day, angry villagers had killed the dog. The head was recovered 
and sent to the laboratory for the rabies test. The test was positive. Komang undertook a full course of post-exposure treatment and is now completely out of danger. Yes! Bali's third round of mass vaccination began in March 2012 and will maintain high herd immunity by emphasizing the vaccination of puppies and roaming dogs. For Alvin, the mass vaccination was a special opportunity. Alvin not only loves animals, but he had very recently been bitten while playing with his favorite puppy, Brocky. At the clinic, he received an injection of vaccine against rabies. Dr. Neoman Sersana, the rapid response officer, spoke to Alvin's parents. A decision was taken to keep the puppy under observation for two weeks. Fortunately, Brocky remained symptom-free and was declared uninfected. The incident was an eye-opener for Koming, the puppy's owner. As the rapid response officer explained the advantages of vaccinating against rabies, Koming took a decision. Brocky was vaccinated one afternoon in May 2012, during the course of Bali's third round of mass vaccination. Uh, komitmen yang diberikan pemerintah Indonesia untuk me mengendalikan dan memberantas rabies khususnya di Bali ini, yang pertama adalah dukungan pembiayaan. Pada awal tahun kami memang sebagian besar didukung oleh FAO, tapi pada tahun kedua dan ketiga dukungan FAO menurun, kemudian diganti oleh uh, dukungan pembiayaan dari pemerintah pusat maupun bahkan dari pemerintah provinsi dan kabupaten di Bali. Kemudian yang kedua di samping pembiayaan adalah komitmen dari pemerintah untuk uh, mempertahankan Bali ini bebas untuk seterusnya adalah menyadarkan masyarakat bahwa masalah rabies tidak hanya bisa tidak hanya bisa ditangani oleh pemerintah semata tetapi juga harus ditangani bersama-sama baik para pemangku kepentingan di, di provinsi dan kabupaten dan juga yang tidak kepala pentingnya adalah dukungan dan kesadaran masyarakat untuk terus menerus mempertahankan Bali bebas dari rabies. Satu hal lagi ada suatu tujuan besar dari pemerintah Indonesia kita ingin membebaskan Indonesia dari rabies. Komitmen ini terjadi setelah adanya rabies di Bali. Bahkan di POM Bali, Gubernur Bali, mau lebih cepat lagi. Bali harus kembali bebas rabies tahun 2013. Jadi ini suatu pekerjaan besar menanti di depan. Rabies adalah suatu penyakit yang bisa dieliminasi. Di perkecil masalahnya sampai tidak menjadi masalah kesehatan masyarakat. Bali's gift to Indonesia is a science-based and effective strategy for fighting rabies. Founded on the twin principles of One Health and the large-scale vaccination of dogs to control and eliminate the virus and thus prevent human deaths. Though its campaign against rabies is far from over, Bali has already shown that rabies can be controlled and that with a clear strategy and a firm will, the government of Indonesia can eliminate the disease.